Why does it look like that? There are 10. There are 10. Wow. The kind of addictive kick though. <laughs> um, hello. Whoa, this chair has got a mind of its own. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do a video where I taste tested some Japanese snacks because my sister, the love of my life over in Tokyo, Yoshiko, sent me the biggest delivery of Japanese snacks. Now, I don't deserve this. And when I say I cried reading the letter that she wrote, I mean I like cried reading the letter. I'm super grateful and yeah. And why not take this opportunity to just, you know, have a little munch on all of them. Oh my God. I mean, I just have to say, this is a dream come true, pretty much. Look at these. The packaging, first of all, is the cutest thing. It's so kawaii. Now, if you think I pronounced that wrong, I haven't. It's just my accent. I've actually pronounced it perfectly. So again, thank you, Yoshiko. You are the biggest angel in the world. She's really personalized it. She knows I like salty things. She knows I like nuts. And she's even written out what everything is and labeled it. So she's included some green tea. I adore green tea, love this. And I assume this is gonna be like proper authentic green tea. Who knows the trash that I am drinking back here. But she's included some corn tea, which I've never heard of. Didn't know it was a thing, don't know what it's gonna taste like, but I am gonna try that right now. So I'm gonna let my tea brew. Oh, smells like popcorn. I'm gonna let that brew. I don't know where to start. Well, I'll start with number one, shall I? Okay, so these are Mino and they're crispy broad beans. And she has mentioned that they are her favorite, so they don't smell of much. Oh, wow. They are luminescent. They are bright green. Mmm, okay. I like that. Great texture. They taste like they'd be fried. They're so crunchy, they taste like they should be fried. They are fantastic. I'll probably forget that I'm rating them, but if I was to rate them, 10 out of 10. Crack and start. Hashed potatoes. Where are my hashed potatoes? These ones look very sophisticated, very adult. I feel like if I was trying to be posh, I'd go for these ones because the rest of it's kind of like fun and really creative packaging. This one's a little bit more minimalist, a little bit more classy. Okay, so far they've all had resealable zips, which is such a good idea. It'll be more expensive to manufacture the packaging, but I think that's definitely worth it. It's definitely a good feature. Ooh, they are so light. Cheers. Mmm, I didn't think they'd be that crunchy. Do you know, I wish they were a little bit more salty. They are good though. Mm hmm they look like they'd be expensive though. That's the only thing that's holding me back. Edamarico, which is an edamame snack. Let's have a look. I know I'm pronouncing these wrong. Please forgive me. These look fun. Again, with the resealable packaging, I love it. Because I did think if I was gonna open them all at once, I'd have to eat them all straight away so they didn't go stale. I mean, I'm, I might still do that, but... Uh, can you see them? Oh, they're cute. They're smaller than I thought they'd be. Yeah, these ones and the broad beans so far. And they're so cute. I've noticed Calbee seems to be quite a popular brand. I'd give these a nine. And for the hashed potatoes, I'll give them a conservative seven. I feel like they could be improved. A bit more flavour in there wouldn't hurt. I've definitely seen these before. I've definitely heard of them. I feel like you can get them in other places. I think I've seen them in Italy. Am I wrong? Maybe, I'm not sure. They're like pretzel sticks, like, I don't know, fried bread? Is that what they are? And these are tomato flavour. They look to me as if they're gonna taste like pizzas, but again, the packaging is super cute. I'm, I'm hooked. I'm a sucker for marketing. That'd be such a great job, wouldn't it? Individual sachets. Ooh. Mm. They taste like pizza. They taste exactly like pizza. I think they'd be nice dipped in something as well. Is it traditional to dip them in something? I could see a, a cool ranch situation going down with these. I like them, not as much as I like the others. So I've got to give it lower than a seven. I think I'm gonna go 6.5, still good, would still eat it. Crunchy fried rice crackers. Gimme, 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 gimme. I am most intrigued. So on the front, they look like walnuts. Is that just me? Oh, how sweet. Hmm. 
So these are called Age Maru. I know, it's wrong, okay. Apparently it's a sweet soy coating on them, so. Mmm! It tastes like barbecue. They are so good. Wow. 9.5. Wow. Is wow descriptive enough for you? No, yeah, they're super good. I do like the sweet, salty element of that. They are great. I'm gonna have another one. Next, my dudes, we have, oh wow, a wasabi cracker. Now, I'm glad I've got a description here because this packaging is quite the ambiguous packaging, isn't it? Like, I would not know for the life of me what that was, unless, is that what wasabi is? Is it a plant? I don't really know much about wasabi, all I know is it's spicy and I like it. They are super small. Tiny, tiny little babies. Mmm. Oh. Wow, they are spicy. They're kind of an addictive kick though. Yeah, I could eat these. I feel like I could go to the cinema and eat these. Oh my god. They really sit on your tongue. Like that wasabi flavour just coats your tongue in a nice layer of heat. Ooh, I love the pain. We need things like this over here. I'm really excited for these. These are Chipstar. They're basically the Japanese Pringles. Um, super famous, they come in loads of flavours. This one is the nori flavour, which obviously I'm gonna like. I, I'm obsessed with nori. It's the best snack, is it not? Is it not? Packaging, packaging. They might be like the salt and vinegar flavour. Uh, ooh! Because salt and vinegar Pringles are probably my favourite flavour Pringles, so if they're anything like them, they're gonna be good. Oh my god. They are amazing. Exactly the same as Pringle. That texture, you don't get it in any of the kind of crisp, do you? It doesn't take much effort to chew, it sort of just <laughs> dissolves in your mouth in the best way. I haven't been rating them, but these can't be anything less than a 10, can they? No, yeah. They're a 10. They're a 10. I am gonna eat the rest of them as soon as the camera's turned off. Right, time for a tea intermission. This is sufficiently brewed. It's quite dark in colour. That's so good. It tastes like popcorn. That's amazing, but it doesn't actually taste like popcorn, it tastes like the popcorn kernels. So you know when you have the unpopped kernels in your bag of popcorn mm. and you suck on them just to get the flavour off? No? Just me? I want to know how popular that is, like is it a thing people have every day? Because <laughs> I think I could. I'm stoked with how many savoury things she gave me because it's really feeding my salty craving which I have pretty much 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Now these look absolutely terrifying. The habanero hot hot potato rings. Habanero one, very spicy. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. Double the spice. Right, okay. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh, they're cute. Oh wow. Is it ambitious to put this many in my mouth at once? I'll test the waters first. I'll just, I'll just have one. That's all right. It's not that spicy. Oh, okay. It builds on you. Oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> It's quite hot. It's a heat I can handle. I mean, I like hot things. <sighs> For the average Joe, yeah, they're hot. Obviously, I'm hard as nails, so they don't really affect me. Ooh. Um. <laughs> but because they're so flavorful, they're amazing. Definitely more flavor than spice. I can't give them a nine, can I? I'm gonna bump up the broad beans to a 9.5 and give these a nine. Next is some crazy salted nut. Now, I definitely, definitely haven't already opened these and I definitely, definitely managed to wait until this video to try them. Okay, in my defense, I, mm, yeah, I really have no excuse, but I can't be in a house where I know there are nuts hanging about and not eat them. So I'm gonna have them now. So they're mixed nuts with like a herby salt on them, which sounds good to me, I'm not gonna lie. They smell strong. They smell nutty. I mean, mm -hmm. they have like a sweet aftertaste. Lovely and salty. I love the cashews. Mm. I could easily eat a lot of these in one go. I even like the peanuts. I'm not a peanut fan, but you know, throw salt on anything and I'm, I'm there. So you've got your almonds, cashews, and some peanuts. Mm. 10 out of 10. Okay, folks. So it's getting serious now. We're coming to the sweet stuff. This is interesting. I've never heard of anything like this ever in my life, which is weird because it makes so much sense. It's basically fried sweet potato coated in sugar. And it's a big old bag as well. Oh, that smell. It kind of smells like a donut shop. That smells like donuts. Why? Ooh, 
Ooh, and they're chunky. Oh my god. That tastes like a glazed, crunchy donut. They have to have some sort of MSG on them because that is insanely good. Mmm. I could crack my teeth on them, but they are so good. As sweet things go, these are a 10. But in relation to everything else I've tried, they're an 8. Just because if I was going to pick a snack, I'd probably pick something salty. But in terms of sweet things, 10 out of 10. What the heck? Coffee bean chocolate. It just makes sense. It makes sense. Funny enough, I've not actually tried this before. I don't think these ones are vegan though, but I think you can get them vegan. I think these ones have some milk powder in them, but hey oh. I think it's going to break my teeth. They have a weird texture. Do you know, I don't think I like them as much as I thought I would. I prefer the smell. It's not that they're bitter because I like the bitterness of coffee. I just think the texture's a bit weird. They do remind me of minstrels, coffee flavoured minstrels. That's exactly what they taste like. And I've never been a fan of them. In many ways, I kind of wish it was more bitter. Fine. Because they're not bad, I'd still eat them. But I wouldn't reach for them. Next one. These are like little animal, I don't know, biscuit. Oh, I thought they had chocolate on them. So this is one of her childhood favorites and apparently Japanese children became familiar with English while eating these. because so it has a little English cartoon on the back. Oh, right. And it's got the names, the English names of the animals on them. <gasps> How fun. They look so cute. And again, the packaging gets a 10 out of 10 already. These have no right being so cute. A little ox, a horn owl. It's even being specific in the breed of owl it is. Now that is education. Parrot, very accurate. That is exactly what parrots look like as well. Cheers. They taste like um, English rich tea biscuits. Because the thing is, they're not overly sweet. They're like perfect. It's weird because I thought they'd be really sweet because they're for kids. Maybe the Japanese care about the children's health. Weird. Pretty much my ideal biscuit so good so the next few things are matcha flavor i feel like i should already just give them a 10 out of 10 but for the sake of the video i will try the first thing is really interesting it's really healthy really posh really fancy the packaging's a little bit softer a little bit nicer more high-end i think um so it's a brown rice biscuit sandwich with soy matcha cream rich in iron and vitamins i think this one again is suitable for vegetarians but not for vegans oh my god they're so cute okay so you get two packs on the inside and in each pack you get two little sandwiches. That smells of matcha. So they're like a Japanese version of a custard cream in many ways. Do you know, it's not sweet at all. That cream filling is good. I would buy that. I know Japan is really famous for having loads of vending machines. I wonder if you can get them in the vending machines or are these a little bit posher? Are these a little bit more upmarket? I was skeptical because I felt like Rice, bran, cracker, boring, dry. No. Tasty, creamy, matcha. I've definitely heard of these before. I feel like they come in lots of different flavours. This one is matcha and macadamia nut. Macadamia nut is so underrated. Also, we don't get many things macadamia flavoured over here. Packaging's really cute. I've opened this weird. Oh. It's funny looking. Why does it look like that? That's the strangest texture. It's kind of like a fudge texture. Oh my god. It's definitely um, harder than I thought it would be. But then it got nice and soft and so flavourful. That texture is like honestly nothing I've ever had before. Oh. Firm, but kind of crumbly, kind of soft. That is so dreamy. Mmm. I'm gonna have the rest. I like these more than I remember. That gets a 10. I ate the whole thing. To conclude, my favourite salty ones are, I like the habanero hot potato rings, I love the crunchy broad beans, the salted mixed nuts, these babies, chip star, nori flavour, c'est magnifique. My least favourite savoury was, maybe these, they're a bit too tomatoey for me. <gasps> What's my favourite sweet thing? I love these, but I also like the soy joy. I feel like the soy joys were better than these, just because these ones are super, super sweet. And I feel like you'd really have to be in the mood for them. The soy joy, I could, I could have that every hour of the day. So she sent me a Japanese curry kit. This one is apple and honey flavour, which sounds divine. She's also left me a little recipe, so I'll probably make that maybe tonight. 
I hope you enjoyed watching the video. It was just a quick little one because I haven't filmed in a while. Thank you for 10,000 subscribers. That's ace. I'm going to do a special little bake with me later in the week, so look forward to that. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.